Okay. Hey, y'all. My name is Katie Rodezo. I am a manager of a group of IT project managers at Red Hat. And today I'm going to talk through how to have a successful and fun hackathon all by telling your teams y'all can do whatever you want. Um, this is my first time with auto advancing slides and my first time with a mic. So hold on to your butts. Ooh, that was good. Okay. Um, why a hackathon? Uh, y'all, one of the major factors for us was process burnout. I've got some teams that are on their 100th two-week sprint. So that's 200 weeks of backlog grooming, sprint planning, daily stand-ups, retrospective, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Um, it starts to feel very Bill Murray Groundhog Day. Um, we've lost the water cooler. Uh, so most of my coworkers and I are now uh, remote, and that has its challenges. Uh, we are trying to find ways to engage in the virtual space, and Hackathon has given us a chance to kind of connect outside of our agile ceremonies. Uh, new skills. Uh, so for most of us, I feel like we think, hey, I love working with people that know more. Uh, so this is just a quick snapshot of some of the tools, integrations, languages, hardware uh, that some of our teams have looked into in previous hackathons. So how to be successful, uh, leadership has to be bought in. For us, this was two folds. Uh, one, hackathon can't interrupt business critical, time sensitive deliverables, duh. Uh, but hackathon also had to have leadership interested. Invite them to your kickoffs, invite them to your demos, make them see the cool shit your teams are building. The team has to be bought in. And y'all, I thought this was gonna be the easy one, um, but I've got some engineers that they have backlog burn down a phobia, which is the technical term, and they are so afraid if they are not working 24 seven, the work won't get done. You have to teach them the work will always be there. So in the fashion of quick, I'm gonna run you guys through the rules of hackathon. Uh, take that with a grain of salt, maybe guidelines of hackathon, uh, but the first one for us is work on whatever you want. Uh, so this can be a passion project, this can be something that is work related, I don't care, y'all can work on whatever you want. The second rule is simply um, don't work by yourself and don't work with the same folks you always work with. Uh, Hackathon is about learning and new connections. Both you cannot do well if you are hiding out in your hobbit hole with the same folks you always hide out with. Um, and rule number three is demo your findings at the end of the week. So this is where we've got that, that edge of accountability to hackathon. Everyone's responsible for doing some sort of demo at the end. It can be a pros and cons list of a new language you learned. It can be uh, explain how a hypothesis failed. I don't care, but everybody has to demo. Rule number four is have fun. And y'all, this is something my team excels at so much that we've got a search by fun on our hackathon showcase page. We do uh, walkout songs. We encourage pre-recorded demos with Keanu Reeves voiceovers. We invite folks to show their personalities and I rarely get disappointed. So what's worked for us? Uh, empower your teams to say no. We've carved out one week for Hackathon. Uh, they should be able to spend their time actually focused on it. Obviously, if there's a pants on fire prods moment, like maybe they might have to stop Hackathon for a second. Uh, but to, in that same vein, we also squash meetings. Uh, what else has worked for us is voting. So at the end of Hackathon, we encourage folks to vote for the best work-related or the best non-work-related um, project, and then do some sort of rewarding for the folks that win. Uh, we've done anything from like a day of PTO to gift certificates to swag, pick your poison. Uh, for our cadence, we're currently doing it quarterly, and that seems like the right balance of not too frequently and not too infrequently. Uh, continuous improvement, at the end of the retrospectives, we spend some time thinking through how can we do this better next time. And then we actually pair it with a one week tech debt, bug squashing kind of sprint just to make it more of an event. How to measure success. Uh, this is just a snapshot of one of our uh, Google chats during one of our last hackathons. And it makes my like mama bear heart happy to see folks encouraging each other and supporting each other. Um, on top of stuff like this, we've also had more than one project become a product for our teams that we've worked on in other sprints. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. Y'all can work on whatever you want for a week. Now y'all say it. Not that hard, right? Okay, thank you guys.